Management of Alarm Security Systems Integrum is software designed for business owners who want to facilitate and improve the management of a large number of security systems distributed in different locations. When developing the Integrum software, which allows multiple control panels to be combined into one system, Saddle's engineers were motivated by several goals. The first of them was to reduce the time needed to review and manage a large number of premises. The second was to offer the customers a more cost-effective way to manage their premises. The third, but no less important goal, was to simplify the management of user rights on multiple premises at the same time. Implementation of these guidelines has resulted in creating the Integrum software that enables management of and supervision over the premises in an operator-friendly way, namely through a central server. Here's how individual components of this solution architecture look like. The first component are the managed premises. Integrum has been prepared with the aim of managing several thousands of distributed systems. The first supported type are the saddle alarm systems. The software is designed to manage the control panels of Integra and Integra Plus families with the ETHM1 or ETHM1 Plus communication module connected. The whole communication is affected via a dedicated connection between the control panel and the Integrum server. Saddle's portfolio includes a wide selection of devices compatible with the Integra control panels. For example, communication and integration modules that enable remote management of these control panels. The table below summarizes the modules with transmission channels and protocols. Integrum uses the ETHM1 or ETHM1 Plus module because this module supports the largest number of protocols. Communication is established by the server using the TCP IP standard. DLoadX is a protocol designed for installers, which allows full configuration of the control panel. GuardX is a protocol used for current work with the control panels, offering access to all commands of the control panel. The INTRS integration protocol offers access to a subset of commands published by the manufacturer. Importantly, the manufacturer keeps them unchanged even after the upgrade of the control panel firmware. The GuardX protocol and the INTRS integration protocol offer similar functionality, but they differ substantially in terms of performance and commands. GuardX is a protocol used internally by the manufacturer, and as such it offers greater possibilities as compared with the INTRS integration protocol. The GuardX protocol should be verified, however, for compatibility with new versions of Integra or Integra Plus firmware. It keeps you informed about any change in the system state and eliminates the need for polling the control panel to check its status details, thus reducing the amount of transferred data. The GuardX commands are sent and are read directly from the system bus without the need of their interpretation by the communication module. This provides instant access to all new features offered by the update of control panel firmware. Because of this, GuardX allows access not only to the alarm system operation commands, but also to those related, for example, to using automation functionality. An example can be reading temperature from the ATD100 detector. GuardX detects the RS-232 cable connection between the ETHM1 or ETHM1 Plus module and the control panel mainboard and automatically switches transmission to that path, increasing its speed more than five times. Another element of the architecture is the already mentioned central management server. The server is built with Java software, thus providing a wide selection of hardware platforms and flexible adaptation to the infrastructure existing at the customer's site. The central module is an application server using the Wildfly environment. This software is an open-source equivalent to the JBoss platform. The default environment of the database is MySQL. During its implementation, Integrum offers the ability to integrate with other engines used by the customer. The data presentation layer uses the proven PHP engine. Each of the presented elements can be installed as open source software. The user can also purchase commercial support from the manufacturer. The modules have been developed for the Linux CentOS platform, but they can also run on Windows servers. The server includes three components the module of data presentation for the user, the central management component with database which reflects the current status of the premises, and the module communicating with the premises, 
which monitors configuration changes made locally to each system and sends commands to them. The web panel is the central console of access to information about the control panels managed by the system. This console is available after you log in using the selected browser. To make the management easier, the principle has been adopted that all items stored in the system are uniquely assigned to a specific region or a branch in the tree structure. There is no limit to the complexity of the hierarchy. These features make it possible to reflect the organizational structure of the customer. All the components are divided into three logical groups. These are the views of control panels, users, and events. Each view contains a list of registered premises, with the possibility of filtering by the basic criteria. For the users who have administrator rights, the option to add premises is also available. If you want to add an object which is an alarm control panel, add its name, the password used by the system to communicate with the control panels, and the identifiers of the premises. Next, enter the TCP IP parameters and encryption keys. The system tries to automatically connect to the control panel. Information on the result of this operation is available in the event panel, and after a successful connection, data on the control panel structure and users are downloaded. After adding a premise, the list displays the name and IP address assigned to it, as well as a picture of the premises status that is identical to that displayed on Integra keypads. From here, it is also possible to access the basic actions that are performed after confirmation. When you go to the detailed panel of the premises, you will find information on the system objects, partitions, and zones, including their statuses. You can select multiple partitions as well as arm or disarm them simultaneously. You can do the same in the case of zones. You can also select multiple zones and simultaneously inhibit or isolate them, as well as unbypass them. In the General tab, basic parameters of the device are presented. In the Users tab, a list of the control panel users is displayed. In the selected columns of this view, the same contents are presented that you can see in configuration tools of the control panel. Additionally, Integrum allows consistent organization-wide management of people and their authority levels. For this purpose, the central user list has been introduced with an option to link them to the control panel users. This association is created automatically when assigning a new user to the control panel via the Integrum interface. Another panel, the Users, is a centrally managed list of people who are also grouped by regions. You can also add it to a new user along with optional information, such as email address, phone number, or picture. The view of control panels allows the user to be associated with the control panel. At this point, verification of the user's current rights is also possible. Additionally, you can save the group of rights granted to the user as a template and give it a name. As a result, it will be possible eventually to use only the template name and even more quickly grant a repeatable set of rights. The last tab is the view of the rights to the operating panel. In addition to the usually assigned login, password, and one of the three authority levels, you can also limit the scope of the rights to the selected region and its subregions, making it possible to delegate rights to a portion of the system. The Events panel allows you to browse through the event log in a manner consistent for the whole system and use complex filtering by time, source, type, or a specific user. Control Panel Configuration Checkup is a module providing unique functionality to Integrum. It works according to a predetermined schedule, periodically downloading the full device configuration which is stored in the central database. As a result, the owner of the premises has always the latest version of control panel configuration. Additionally, the system automatically sends the result of comparison of current and previous versions and also generates a report of discrepancies and sends it to the indicated email address. The modules of plans and cameras have been combined to create a characteristic for the system dashboard panel. This panel allows you to monitor the whole system state on a single screen and perform on a regular basis and directly on the map. Each panel has a very specific purpose of its own. In its upper left corner, the panel shows the state of the entire system or a part of it to which you have access. The statuses of premises are also counted. In the case of control panels, these are alarms, troubles, 
devices in service mode, and cases of loss of connection with the premises. The next panel is a contextual panel, the content of which changes with the actions performed by the user. Thus, selecting one of the system state buttons will display a list of premises in this state. On the other hand, selecting a specific item from that list or from the event log will display in the panel details of the premises, including its current status, as well as the type and version of the installed devices. The map panel displays the premises on background raster and defines connections between maps, for example, Poland, Pomerania, Office. The current status of each premises is visualized by appropriate color. Additionally, clicking on a premises will open the context menu, which displays the name and available actions. In this example, the system is armed and the INTKLFR keypad showing real action on the premises is presented. The map opens a two-way connection with the server, which provides practically instant information about any change in the premises status. In the example, the partition was disarmed by presenting the access card to the keypad. Each map has a legend, thanks to which it is possible to locate the premises on the map and view its current status. In this example, the exit delay for the manager office partition has been set at 15 seconds. After arming the partition, it is possible to view the specified time countdown on the keypad, as well as the changing pictograms on the legend. Generating an alarm from Zone 1 changes the status and appearance of partition on the map. Disarming a partition restores the default state of the system. Clicking a premises on the map also allows its status to be verified by using pictograms, identical to those on the legend list. The whole panel includes more than 20 views that make the management of security systems using Integrum as easy as never before.